So today we're talking about right triangles. Um, we're going to learn what's called the Pythagorean Theorem. And this is where your knowledge of squares and square roots will really help you out. Because we have this equation, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So for any right triangle, this long side right here, which is called the hypotenuse, of the right triangle is equal to this side squared plus this side squared. So now that we know that we're going to do an example. So this is the hypotenuse. This is our hypotenuse. And this is what we're trying to find out. So a squared which is 8 squared plus 6 squared is equal to x squared or c squared. It's the same thing because they're just variables. So 8 squared is 64 plus 6 squared is 36 is equal to x squared. So 100 is equal to x squared. But we want to know what x is equal to. So we're going to take the square root of both sides and we get x is equal to 10. Now we're going to do another example. So notice that we know we know what our hypotenuse is equal, but we want to know what this is equal to. So we're going to, like we would normally, we're going to take a squared plus b squared and set it equal to the hypotenuse squared. So 49 plus x squared is equal, is equal to 625. So x squared is equal to is equal to 576 and if we take the square roots of both sides we get x equal to 24 and for one last example we have so this is our hypotenuse and we're trying to find out what x equals. So we're going to take each one of the parts square and square them and set it equal to 5 squared. So if you take the square root of 7 and you square it, you're undoing this square root. So this just becomes 7 plus x squared equals 25. x squared is equal to 18. If you take the square root of that, you get x is equal to the square root of 18. 18 is not a perfect square. So we're just going to leave it written like that because there's no way, because this isn't a whole number. x is not a whole number. So now that we've learned the Pythagorean Theorem, we're going to learn some rules for special right triangles in our next video.